Hi, this is Raggy Horner, and what I'm going to do here for the next four to five minutes is explain the dynamics and how to set up what I call lazy days lines. Now, without getting into a lot of specifics and probably boring detail that you're not necessarily going to need <laughs> and probably aren't interested in, lazy days lines are basically la named after my favorite restaurant in Isla Mirada. And the reason they are lazy days lines is because they are an automated way to find support and resistance on a chart. Now, let's take a second here to talk about support and resistance. And I'm, I've got this chart of crude oil up, but let's go ahead and take a peek at the Euro US dollar. Lazy days lines can be used on any time frame, they can be used on any market. I use them on my stocks, I use them on my ETFs, futures, and of course, Forex. Like any kind of technical analysis, they're going to be more psychologically relevant on, for example, a daily chart as opposed to a 30-minute chart. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Just as the 200-period simple moving average, which I do have slicing across this chart here, it's the thicker blue line, just as the 200-period simple moving average has a lot more relevance on a daily chart, so too do my collection of exponential moving averages that I call the lazy days lines. Now, if you take a look here at the left side of this chart, you'll see the lazy days lines. 55 period, they're moving averages, and E is for exponential. Now this is E signal. You can set these things up on anything that will allow you to put expo uh, you know, multiple exponential moving averages on a chart. I know you can do this on MetaTrader, obviously E signal. I know there's a number of charting platforms you can put multiple moving averages on. I've also left the wave here, as you can see, the 34 period exponential moving average, high, there's a close and a low, and that's the three pink lines. This discussion is not about the wave, however, lazy days lines stemmed from my, inis my initial research, my initial testing, looking for dynamic support and resistance looking for a tool that would offer me dynamic support and resistance while also indicating the underlying market cycle of the chart I was looking at. But all along the way of looking at Fibonacci based moving averages, obviously 34 is one of them, along the way uh, a student of mine and myself had tested the high-low close all the way really thoroughly up to 144. But we had gone as high as 67.65. Okay, we we had tested past 50.97, which is the longest of my lazy days lines. We had tested 25.84, 41.81, and all like I said, all the way up to 67.65, which included a lot of very boring <laughs> Excel spreadsheet downloaded history, and I don't need to bore you with that. So I had all this data that sat around for years while I just quite happily went along using the wave, its dynamic support and resistance and, and market cycles. But I would typically keep one chart in the corner of my multi-screen setup with all these exponential base moving averages. You know, I, I had automated ways of finding support and resistance, whether that be AutoChartist, whether that be, I could use a you know, program like AutoChartist, whether that be the, the automated easy to trade software that autom that automates uptrend lines, downtrend lines, horizontal support, resistance, gaps, etc. Remember that when you're looking at trend lines, they're subjective, okay? Objectivity versus subjectivity. That's really at the heart of what lazy days lines are all about. When you draw trend lines manually, it is very subjective. The touch points, how far back you go in time, well, when you use something like lazy days lines, it allows you to be more objective. So in a nutshell, without overcomplicating this, because it tends to be a little uh, overcomplicated when I discuss lazy days lines in webinars and seminars, these are just different ways of finding support and resistance. So if you were using Fibonacci to determine support and resistance, pivot points, psychological levels, of course, in manually drawn uptrend lines, downtrend lines, horizontal support and resistance, this is just another way of identifying where the market is likely to find ceilings and floors. And that's Lazy Days Lines in a nutshell.